making it taste of culture, a visit to a prevention center. Give me carrots. With a chronic disease, healthy eating is important. At Copenhagen's prevention centers, you can learn to cook healthy meals from your own culture. This cooking class aims to teach them how to make healthy meals from their own cultural backgrounds. I'm cooking good food today. They get to make well-known dishes, which makes them feel good and which their families recognize. That way, they learn to make a healthier version of a dish they already know, instead of, say, replacing pita bread with rye bread, which makes people want to give up and say they can't do it. Look here, why isn't there a label here? That's unhealthy. That's right. It's unhealthy? Yes, because it's white flour. White flour makes your blood sugar rise. So you can't eat 100% white flour. It has to be mixed. We're changing attitudes about healthy food. You can learn to make it, but you can't learn to eat it. One woman said, these rolls probably taste good, but you can't eat them for breakfast. I asked her why not. Because they're healthy. It was funny. Remember to season with your favorite spices. It should taste like something from our own culture. So make it as spicy as you like. This food is different. Now we think about making healthy food. No oil, not a lot of salt. I love to eat. Over four lessons, they learn about and practice making healthy meals. They make their own dishes, but in a new and healthy way. They've been here twice, where they learned the theory. Today they will be using what they've learned so they can actually change ordinary recipes. I call them unhealthy recipes, which people make every day, so they can learn how to change them into a healthy alternative.